Hamburger Helper. And we'll be having it with green beans, these French style green beans. Ho ho ho, green giant. So we get the thing ready by taking a pound of meat and putting it in a pan. And we break it up little pieces. Then we add our spices. We get some lemon pepper. Zing, 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 zing. Zing, 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 zing. Some garlic. The coup de gras, the grandest spice of them all, accent, accent, accent. I put this shit on everything. A couple pieces try to get away from me, but I caught them. Then we take the beef to the stove. Zing, 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 can you see the hamburger helper? Get some milk. Get some milk and butter to make it buttery and better for you today. Here we go. And we turn on the hamburger helper. Get a nice little spoon. We're gonna put a little tab of butter into our green beans. We get the milk and... Now, I always go different from what the box says. What does the box know? Come on! This is the best hamburger helper you can eat. Ready? Now it says that we should put in one cup of milk and two thirds cups of water. But I always do a little differently. Just a little. So I end up putting in more like one and a third cup, give or take a little bit, of milk. 
makes the sauce a little richer. And then we put the water in. We stir the meat. Just need to make sure the meat's nicely browned. Got the water and milk ready, and then we'll be pouring that in shortly. We can keep stirring the meat until it's nice and brown. I'll be stirring the meat until it's nicely brown. I'll be stirring the meat until it's nicely brown. You know they had these things called rubble stirs that I can use too, except for one thing. This made for TV product is the worst piece of shit ever! nicely brown. We want to take a little bit of this fat that's in the pan and get rid of it as much as we can. Not only successful, not easy to get rid of this fat, but we'll try to drain as much of it as I can out. There we go. Some meat trying to get away from me. Not gonna happen on my watch. Alright, we take... First what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the sauce mix. Put it over the meat. Then we take our noodles. Toodles. And then we take our milk and water and we pour it in. And we mix it all together. Mix it up, being the kind of your helper. There it is. He does not look good. He's stirring, 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 stirring. Stirring, stirring. And what I like to do, as a little extra taste of touch, I like putting in some bouillon cubes, two bouillon cubes to be precise, to make the sauce zestier. Now, of course, if the wrapper doesn't want to come off, it sucks. Hey, Phenobola. One bouillon cube. And two bouillon cubes. And then you stir it again. Flipping the meat and the noodles over like this. And this is how you want to stir it. Look at that. That's perfect stirring action. Look at that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to wait till this comes to a boil. So we're going to be back with you in a second. And we're going to, it's going to be instantaneous for you. Well, it takes about two or three minutes to reach a boil. Or five minutes if you're on an outer stove. 
So we'll see it when it reaches to a boil. We'll be adding our last touches. There it is. Look at that boiling. Look at that. Toil in toil. It's a boil. Look at this hamburger helper cook up. So here we go. It's our last touch. Gravy master! Gravy master! Gravy! Gravy! This is the ultimate coup de gras for making Hamburger Helper because it makes Hamburger Helper perfect. Just a little bit is what we pour in. And we stir it in to make it nice and brown. Look at that. Look at that rich. Look how rich it's getting. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? All right. Now, what we're going to do now is we have to reduce this to a simmer. Reduce the heat just a little. Down to a simmer. And we cook it for another 10 minutes with the lid on. Boom. Now while it's cooking, we're going to come back every now and then and stir it until it's getting really nice and thick and then that's when we'll turn on the green beans. So this has got another few minutes to go. Okay, this should be about close to finishing. Look how nice and thick this is. So another two or three minutes, and we'll turn on the green beans so they're done simultaneously. And then we'll be getting ready to finish and plate the meal. Let's stir these green beans around. I like the French style green beans best with hamburger helper. Da, 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 da. Now you see, this is how it looks when it's done. Da. So we turn it off. Click. And we get ready to plate the meal. Time to plate the meal. Takes a couple of scoops of the hamburger helper. Put it on the plate nicely. So we can get a nice picture as well. Get some green beans. String them out on the plate. Dun, dun, dun. Doing, 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 woo, 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 Hey, look. It's Cody Parky Field Gold. Doing, doing. Some green beans. All right, hamburger helper. Voila. Very good. Till next time. Good day.